Jesus said, if any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. In Isaiah it says, Behold, the Lord shall come with a strong hand, and his arm shall rule for him. Behold, his reward is with him, and his work before him. He will feed his flock like a shepherd. He will gather the lambs with his arm, and carry them in his bosom, and gently lead those who are with young. Who has measured the waters in the hollow of his hand? Who has measured heaven with a span and calculated the dust of the earth in a measure? Weighed the mountains in scales and the hills in a balance? Who has directed the Spirit of the Lord or as his counselor has taught him? With whom did he take counsel and who instructed him and taught him in the paths of justice? Who taught him knowledge and showed him the way of understanding? Behold, the nations are as a drop in a bucket and are counted as the small dust on the scales. Look, he lifts up the isles as a very little thing and Lebanon is not sufficient to burn nor its beasts sufficient for a burnt offering. All nations before him are as nothing. And they are counted by him less than nothing and worthless. To whom then will you liken God? Or what likeness will you compare to him? The workman molds an image. The goldsmith overspreads it with gold. And the silversmith casts silver chains. Whoever is too impoverished for such a contribution chooses a tree that will not grow. He seeks for himself a skillful workman to prepare a carved image that will not totter. Have you not known? Have you not heard? Has it not been told you from the beginning? Have you not understood from the foundations of the earth? It is he who sits above the circle of the earth and its inhabitants are like grasshoppers, who stretches out the heavens like a curtain and spreads them out like a tent to dwell in. He brings the princes to nothing. He makes the judges of the earth useless. Scarcely shall they be planted. Scarcely shall they be sown. Scarcely shall their stock take root in the earth when he will also blow on them and they will wither, and the whirlwind will take them away like stubble. To whom then will you liken me? Or to whom shall I be equal, says the Holy One? Lift up your eyes on high, and see who has created these things, who brings out their host by the number. He calls them all by name, by the greatness of his might, and the strength of his power, not one is missing. Why do you say, O Jacob, and speak, O Israel, my way is hidden from the Lord, and my just claim is passed over by my God? Have you not known? Have you not heard? The everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, neither faints nor is weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the weak. And to those who have no might, he increases strength. Even the youths shall be faint and be weary. And the young men shall utterly fall. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. If any man thirst, let him come unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of your faith, who will quicken and make you alive. 
This is a holy place. The nations out there are useless and nothing. God is on the circle of the earth and the circle of the heavens. He rules over all. And if you wait on Him, He'll quicken and make you alive. And we thank you, Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God, that you touch and bring healing and deliverance and freedom to everyone in this place. Because your word says that if we wait upon you, Lord, you will renew our strength. And we will mount up with wings as eagles. And we will run and not be weary. And we will not walk and not faint. Thank you, Lord.
Just in your whisper.